Good morning, everybody. How is everybody? I hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful day outside. They say it's going to be a little warm, but hey, that's okay. We just have to dress light and we'll be fine. Okay. So, what time is it? Yes, you're right. It's time to dance. Let's get this music going. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see. So, hmm, what should I do? Um, oh, yes, I have to give you a hint, right? What story are we going to do today? I know. Let's see. <laughs> oh, that's a foot on my head. What's that foot doing? It's on a tree. And that's a big cauldron, and it's boiling out, oh, and there's the tree again. And that guy is chopping into it. Yes, look at that. Oh, and look, there's sap running down, just like a maple tree, but it's not a maple tree. And there's the white dots of sap. And here's this guy who's stirring, 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 stirring. And, oh, it's getting, it's getting cool, and he's doing that. Oh, and here's a quick shot of something else. What are they doing? Yes, it's bubbles. So this is all about bubbles, this story today. Um, it's about a little girl who finds some magic bubble gum. And well, I won't give too much of the story away because we're going to read it in a second, but it's really fun. And it's about where bubble gum comes from. Now, a lot of Bubble gum is made with chemicals and in factories and that kind of thing. But real bubble gum <clears throat> comes from a tree. And just like that little video showed, it's like maple syrup, except they, they chop these little lines into the tree and then the tree opens up and lets all the sap come out and then they collect it and they have to cook it to get the, the water content out. And then it becomes very gum-like and then they add natural flavors and they have organic gum and it's a tradition that was like from ancient ancient times like that the uh, Aztecs and the Mayas used to do this so a long long time ago and then it it kind of went away because you know the factories made their own chemical gum but now it's coming back because people want like real gum so this is a story about the real thing the real gum okay so let's start and we have to take this off and this off. Oh, there's our story time room. It's so beautiful. And this off. Okay. So first, we want to thank the um, Mexican Farmer Revive Organic Gum Tradition video. They made that video that we saw real quick. And then kids blowing bubbles with gum challenge. So that was fun. And let's see. Here we go. 
The name of the story is Tavella and the Magic Bubble. And it was written by Monica Brown and illustrated by Magli Morales. Okay. Um, I read that. Oh, and the publisher, thank you, publisher, is Clarion Books from Houghton Milford Harcourt in Boston. Oh, and it was published in 2010. Okay, and there's the little girl. And these are all like these little canisters of gum that she likes to chew. And she's got a, a basket behind her and she's on a swing. And it says, Tavella loved to chew gum. She chewed pink bubble gum, rainbow colored gum, sugar free peppermint gum, and sour cherry gumballs. She liked gum that came in rolls, shredded gum, and teeny tiny gumballs that looked like confetti and felt slippery in her mouth. Tavella chomped her chicle every chance she got. And that's the new word, chicle. What do you think it means? Yes, it means gum. That's in Spanish. Okay. So you're learning some Spanish. And there she is running. And as she's running, she's blowing her bubbles. Tavella was especially good at blowing bubbles. She blew big bubbles shaped like pink balloons and little bubbles the size of jelly beans. She could blow bubbles inside of bubbles and two bubbles side by side. And one time she even blew a bubble shaped like a dog. Wow, that's amazing. One morning, Abuelita, and that's another word in Spanish for grandma, was telling Chabela about the beautiful rainforest and the birds and the butterflies that live there. When Chabela blew a big bubble shaped like a butterfly, bravo, said Abuelita. And there she is. Look what a big butterfly she blew up. And Grandma is very happy. Abuelita thinks that's really cool. On Saturdays, Chavela and her grandmother would split a piece of gum. Oh, and there they are. They're taking a walk. All those people are walking, and the store says tortilleria. Do you know what that is? Do you know what a tortilla is? Yeah, you make a taco with a tortilla, and a tortilleria is where they make the tortillas. So those people are going there, and so it's all about shopping on Market Street, and Chabela's abuelita would tell her stories about the quiet town of Playa del Carmen, Mexico, where she grew up. And Playa del Carmen is this beautiful place on the beach. And there's Chabela. She's in the store, and what did she find? She found a box of magic chicle. I wonder what it does. Chavela popped her bubble and they went into a tiny corner store and Chavela spotted a kind of gum she'd never seen before. Magic chicle, the package read, in letters as blue as the sky. And on the back it said, deep in the rainforest of Mexico, there's a magical sapodilla tree. From this tree are amazing chicle cones. Chavela snatched it up and paid for it with a pocket full of coins. And she got her box of chicle and there she is with her abuelita and they're walking away from the store. On the way home, Chavela asked, what does a tree have to do with gum? Well, Chavela explained abuelita, gum is made from chicle, the sap of the sapodilla tree. Did you know that my father was a chiclero? Chicleros are workers who care for the sapodilla trees and harvest chicle from them. But why is the chicle magic, she asked. That you will have to find out for yourself, Abuelita said with a smile. Once home, Chavela ran straight to her room and opened her magic chicle. It smelled wildly delicious. She popped a piece in her mouth and then another and another. Yum! Soon the whole package was gone. Oh, and she's blowing the bubble and it's bigger and bigger. Chabella chewed and chewed and then took a deep breath and blew a great big bubble that got bigger and bigger and bigger until, oh, 
she's levitated off the floor. Look at that. The bubble took her right up. Oh, even the bird's excited. He's flying too. Chabela's speed lifted off the ground and she floated up and out of her bedroom window. There's a little boy with a kite and he's looking up. I bet that's pretty amazing to see a little girl floating by chewing with a big bubble. All the kids are amazed. The wind swooped her over the mountains of California, across the deserts of Arizona, and past the rivers of Texas. Then the wind blew Chavela and her magic bubble south towards Mexico and the white sand beaches of Playa del Carmen. She smiled at the children playing by the water and spread her arms like a bird. Oh, there she is. Look at that. She can fly. And there she's passing the forest. That's what the forest looks like to her from on top. Chavela floated above the jungles of the Yucatan, bouncing along the tops of the lovely sapatilla trees. Ah, and the people are working on the trees and they're waving to her. Down below, chicleros were making zigzag cuts in the trunk trees and collecting the dripping chicle in big sacks. Children skipped around the trees, singing and holding hands. One little girl had a doll with a pretty blue dress. The girl waved at Chabela, and Chabela waved back. Oh, there they are. Look, there's the little girl with the little doll with the blue dress and all the other kids. And they're waving to each other, and there's the bird that flew with Chabela. Chavela floated softly down, landing under the tallest sapodilla tree of all. The little girl with the doll came right up to Chavela and said, Hola, do you like our magic tree? Magic tree, Chavela asked, her hand on the strong trunk. Why is it magic? Because it brings us visitors like you, the little girl said with a wink. Chicleros, like my father, collect chicle from these trees and send it to the United States to be made into chewing gum. But the chicle from this tree is special. My great-grandfather was a chiclero, and he cared for these trees too, said Chavela. I know, the little girl said mysteriously, handing Chavela the doll with the pretty blue dress. Come and sing with us. And so they all got together and ran in a circle singing a song. Chavela held hands with the other children and together they sang a song about the doll. Tengo una muñeca vestida de azul. I have a doll dressed up in blue. Then they ran and played under the shade of the sapodilla trees until Chavela became very tired. She wrapped herself up in a pile of leaves, leaned against the magic tree. She watched the butterflies and listened to the birds singing of the chicleros, and soon she was fast asleep. When Chavela woke up, the sun had set, and the birds and the butterflies and the chicleros were gone. So was the little girl and the doll with the pretty blue dress. Chavela brushed the leaves away and shivered. She missed her abuelita, but she'd already chewed all her magic gum. How would she ever get home? Suddenly she felt a drip on the tip of her nose. It was soft and sticky. It was chicle from the magic sapodilla tree. Oh, look at that. The tree is giving her some of its sap. And look at that. What did she do? She blew another big bubble to get herself home. Ah, that was pretty smart. Chavela popped the chicle into her mouth, chewed and chewed and chewed, and blew and blew and blew until she floated up and away into the twinkling sky. Back over mountains and deserts and cities, finally drifting down, down, down towards her little red house. Yes, she made it back to Grandma's. Oh, Grandma is holding something. What is she holding? 
plop, Chabella floated down through the window and landed on her bed, happy and bouncy and full of magic. She ran to the kitchen to see her grandmother. Long journey, Abuelita asked with a wink. How did you know, Chabella asked. I know because when I was a little girl, magic was part of my life too. And now I have a special present I've been waiting to give you, Abuelita said. Then she reached deep into her pocket and pulled out the doll with the pretty blue dress. This was mine when I was a little girl, and now it's yours, just like the magic of a sapodilla tree. Wow, that's pretty amazing. And there's Grandma, and there's Chavella with her new cute little doll with the blue dress. Although Chabella was never again to find magic chicle in the corner store, from then on, whenever she chewed her chicle, she thought of her great-grandfather, the chiclero, and the little girl who grew up to be her grandmother, and the rainforest, and the birds, and the butterflies, and the beauty of the world, wide, whole wide world, and her chicle tasted even sweeter. And there's the song, but sadly, I can't really see it that well, so I, and besides, I can't really sing. But that's the end of our story. Okay, so let's see. There's our story, and there's our room, and there I am. Oh, okay, so I hope you enjoyed the story. It was a fun story about stuff that happened a long time ago, but magically, Chavela got to visit her grandmother when her grandmother was a little girl too and they played with the same doll and then when she came back she got to get the doll so pretty amazing right but you got to find out all about chicle gum and now you know how it's made and where it comes from so pretty cool anyway hmm, what's next i guess until next time that's what's next have a great day and stay cool it's hot out there bye